Hello and welcome back to the advanced course on Tableau. In the previous tutorial, we built this beautiful looking visualization for country demographic data. And today we are finally going to add the animation uh, to see all of this progress in action over the past 50 plus years. So adding animations in Tableau is actually very, very simple. To start off with, we're going to remove year from filter because we are going to build our visualization or our animation based on different years. So let's get it out of filter. And now we're just going to take year and we're going to drag it into this tab, which we haven't used before, which is called pages. And once you drag it into there, uh, that pretty much uh, builds your animation right there. So uh, you can see a timeline appears and this is actually a series of pages. So for us, it's a timeline because we are using year. And bear in mind that in this case, in our case, year is recognized as a uh, string. It's not a date and you can tell by this indicator over here which says ABC and yet we're still able to uh, create this uh, animation because Tableau does require pages and pages can be practically anything. Well in our case we are using years and here you can control the animation you can uh, move, zoom through the different years and you can see how it's changing as I click to the right or I can go back uh, to the left and that's changing the animation and also, you can just let it play by itself. So I can just click play and it'll be changing slowly uh, one step at a time. You can control the speed. You can make it uh, change slower. So here you can see that it's uh, changing very slowly. And that's if you want to analyze the data uh, in a lot of detail. And finally, you can put on the maximum speed and it's changing very quickly. Um, so there you go. You can see how the animation works. Very impressive, isn't it? So that's how the countries are changing and you can uh, look at individual countries for instance this big red circle is china and you can see uh, that it started over here with a fertility rate um, of 5.75 and life expectancy of 43 years only back in 1960 and and you can see how it's moving through uh, this uh, grid and finally it gets to uh, 2013 where uh, life expectancy or fertility rate is 1.6 so 1.6 uh, children uh, per family and 75 years of life expectancy great improvement in terms of life expectancy and this is exactly what we were after we wanted to see how uh, this what the tendencies or trends are in the world in terms of fertility and life expectancy so the other thing we can also see here is, of course, population. You can see the, how the bubble is growing. For instance, let's look at the bubble for China. Uh, you can see how it's growing with time. So it got much bigger towards the end. And that is uh, talking to uh, the population of the country. And finally, uh, the other dimension that we have here is the color, which is telling us which region these uh, countries are from and we've got um, Asia we've got Europe Latin America America um, South Southern Africa Northern Africa and and so on and in a way what you have here on this two-dimensional picture and this is very exciting actually uh, on this two-dimensional uh, picture what you have is five dimensions of information you have fertility rates life expectancy right then you have population which is the size that's three then you actually have a fourth dimension which is the color and that is which region they're coming from and finally animation allows you to add a fifth dimension to your visual and that is the year so as you're progressing through years you're you're seeing a fifth dimension which is time and that is pretty cool so now we're going to fix up just a couple more things we're going to um, fix up the axis here so we're going to fix it at eight and make it start at one and this axis we're going to uh, fix it at let's say 85 and we'll make it start at 30 and now if we move everything to the left it kind of fits in a bit better so let's play that again there we go pretty cool isn't it um, so as we discussed, the nulls are attributed to the fact that some countries don't have data for some years, and you can check that in your actual data sources. So we're just going to right-click and hide indicators so it's not ruining our visual. And let's play it one more time. I'll show you another quick uh, trick here. So we can say loop playback, and that way it will 
um, continue playing uh, once it's finished it'll continue playing you don't really need that in this visual but you might need it in other visuals and just that's one additional control that you can um, apply here uh, so I'm just going to switch that off and one more trick that I'll show you here is you can play it backwards so once it gets to the end if you like you can play it backwards and you'll see the trends all going the opposite way and one more thing that we might want to add to this visualization is indication of what year it is because uh, people will be looking here, not here, and they might want to see what year uh, the visualization is currently going through. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click and we'll select annotate and we'll click area. And here we will say insert and here we will say uh, page name. So this is the name of our page and we're going to insert here and maybe make it quite large, make it a 72, and we don't want it black. Once again, we want uh, this color and make it bigger, put it in the top, somewhere like that, and we want to get rid of this border. We don't want the border, so we're going to right-click Format, uh, None. There we go. So let's see how this changes. Maybe this is a bit big. Let's make it uh, the next size down, 48. No, it's too small. So let's make this um, 64. There we go. Now let's see how this changes as we play our visualization. Uh, that button. There you go. So you can see that the year is changing. And if you want to analyze it in a bit of a more slower version, then you can actually see every single year and other people see the year and then they can see how the countries are changing so they can reference that here if they ever need to. So that is how you create basic animations in Tableau. That's that's the first starting point for us. Uh, in one of the next tutorials in this section, I will show you how to add advanced features to this visualization to make its interpretation more useful and uh, more intuitive for the people that are going to be looking at it so that they can extract more uh, insights from it. And there we go. That's all for today. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.